so right now i'm minting um, a particular nft on the um phantom network on the solana network sorry so as you can see i'm minting it currently so it's rolling um total minted 50 out of 21 2121 so let's wait for it to approve then i'm going to show you how i did it mm. mint field try again okay perhaps there's a network issue let's see if i can mint it again uh, hope this thing is not deducting my gas fee I don't know why the mint is failing. So let's wait for it to work. Almost things very slow. I still don't know why it's failing. Perhaps I should reload it again. So what I just did was, um, this is the server or the server, whatever. So they posted the mints link here, which is on the whitelist announcement. So I copied the link. When I copied it, then I went to my Phantom app. Then I transferred some assets to my second wallet over here. Oh, it's deducted my Solana. Oh, I think the minting went through. I think I minted twice. Let me check my NFTs. Collectibles. I think the mint went through. Oh, it went through. So what I did was, over here, I went to this browser, this um, fifth icon over here. You can see. Then I pasted my link. Then I click on go. Then... You click on connect wallet then you connect it on then you select phantom you understand then you click on mint so that's just how basically how it works how you can mint your nfts on uh phantom so the mint price was 0 0.09 so that was around let's see. 0 0.09 so that's around 7.5 dollar with an um, additional gas fee and i had like 18 dollar a year so i think um uh, it worked so now on your phantom you need to have two wallets on your phantom you know so the mistake a lot of people do is that right now you can see that i connected my wallet to that site now if Let's say, for example, you have a thousand dollar worth of Solana in this wallet that you want to be using to mint NFTs, and you came here and you connected your uh, wallet to this site, and let's say the NFT was a scam site, you know, if the NFT was a scam site, you just risked your one thousand dollar for just a zero point zero nine minting uh, fee. Do you understand? So these are things you should avoid. If, if you connected your wallet and you minted for 0 0.09 and the NFT was a scam, they could have easily packed your $1,000 away because of the 0 0.09 mint uh, uh, price. So all you need to do is on your Phantom, you can just click on this M over here. Just look at my, the icon at the top left corner. This M, you can see it. So if you click on the M, then you can click on this mint wallet here. On your own you might see account so if you click on it then you click on this plus icon over here you see the plus icon so this is my main wallet so this this john snow is my main wallet this is where i keep all my solana so i transfer the amount i need into this mint wallet then i connect my wallet to this mint wallet you can see so for your own, if you want to create a new just click on the plus icon then click on create a new wallet then it will generate another address for you then you can decide to name it 
you click on this three icon over here wallet name you can rename it then wallet address so there's nothing to do so you can click on export private key and you write your private key somewhere so both wallets are using one phrase so you should know that the only unique thing about all your wallets you create are your private keys so once you create your new wallet, your mint wallet over here always export your private key copy it and keep it safe you don't need to copy if you if you click on um X show recovery phrase you see that the recovery phrase of this second wallet will still be the same thing as your first wallet you can have multiple record uh, passphrase on different wallets that you had here they are always separate wallets yeah, they, are, they are always separate uh, private keys so this is a private key, key you use to be import this account here if you need it again you can just click on this plus icon then you can click on import private key then you put place the private key here, then you put the name then you import it so that's how to mint nfts on the solana network using phantom app so thank you um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. Also, share this video with um, anybody that needs it.